in order to achieve greatness, you must first believe you can. What's the biggest challenge that most of these individuals have? What's the common challenge? Believe. That- they don't believe, man. You know, it's it's um, it's all mental, and people don't get it. You know, everybody wants to say, okay, well, here go ten steps to. Okay, Lewis said do eight. Et said do nine. Mm-hmm. You know, this person says this is twelve steps, and everybody's trying to get the steps without the mentality. You got this. I believe in you. When somebody says, no matter what happens, whether it succeeds or fails, I'm going to be by your side. Oh, that's that's cool. when I have the confidence to do difficult things. Wow. So it's the people in my life. You should recognize the potential in yourself and love yourself enough to make the changes that produce the best possible version of yourself. Or how do you overcome self-doubt? How do you overcome self-doubt? Help someone else overcome self-doubt. I love that. You overcome self-doubt by helping. Like, and it's not a selfish thing. I'm only helping you so I can. Mm-hmm. You have to genuinely love and commit to the person. So it's not the car, the house, the whatever. It is that internal goal, that internal why. And so for me, I just think that's it. Like that, like you ah, it just mm. it's something within and you mm. gotta pull it out. And so it's easy when you have a why, a purpose. I'm doing it for this, I'm doing it for that. It's easy to get up and get going. But if it's just for a car, what happens, Lewis, when you get the car? Because you can buy it. What happens when you get the house and you can buy the house? The only reason you're not the best right now is because you don't believe you're the best now. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You have got to stand up to that voice. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You've got to sell yourself every day, every day, every day. According to your level of belief, it will manifest itself And what you're doing, whatever we have right now, whatever we're demonstrating in our lives is a result of what we believe subconsciously that we deserve. And part of increasing that belief level is that you have got to convince yourself every day. I believe I'm the best there is. I ain't apologizing for it to anybody. I I think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. If you can't do it, you scratch, claw, and even die trying. Somewhere, I believe that I am not enough. Not good enough, smart enough, talented enough, worthy enough, whatever it might be. And that was definitely my biggest insecurity was I'm not enough in so many ways. And so I needed people to give me the approval. I needed people to accept me because I didn't accept me. I accept myself fully now. It doesn't mean I'm still not hungry. It doesn't mean I'm still not a work in progress. It doesn't mean I'm still not driven to create results in my life and make an impact and do all these beautiful things. But I finally come to myself after literally 10 years of different healing modalities and processes and making big mistakes and learning and growing, I finally feel at peace with accepting myself. From that space, I feel like I can do anything, no matter if people talk crap about me. It doesn't mean I have to like it, but I can still do it and not be afraid of that. And that's really at the core of the greatness mindset is identifying which fear holds you back. Because I believe self-doubt is the killer of dreams. Once you start questioning yourself, you already lost. Once you start questioning yourself, once you start going into a state of depression and you start being by yourself and you start thinking and wondering, once you start wondering, you already lost. Even if you don't believe, believe. I'm the best right now. And if you want to go through motivational speaking, you got to go through me. Ain't nobody doing it like this. They all want shirts and thighs. Ain't nobody bring hip hop to motivation. I must be the greatest. I shook up motivational speaking. I changed the whole genre. I must be the greatest, not because I'm cocky, but I got to tell myself I'm the best if I'm going to be the best. I got to believe in me before anybody else believe in me.
on Christmas morning when I unwrap my camera, I actually don't believe in my ability. So much so that I say, I can't even open the box to this camera until January 1st, because in the new year, I'm gonna be a different person. So that should just like kind of like really betray the lack of belief that I had in myself to begin with. So then it was opening the camera and saying, I told my husband, I'm like, oh, I think you got me the wrong battery. No, no, it was just me putting the battery in the wrong way. I had no idea which way was up. I was cutting every single corner. I was looking at the work that I was doing and I feel like I had enough wherewithal to look at my work and say, this is terrible. I know what good is and what I am doing is terrible, but do I have the capacity to make it a little bit less terrible? I was a person for 365 days who said, come hell or high water, I'm gonna go all in. I want to look back on my deathbed and said, you gave it everything you had. So I stopped being a lot so like social. I didn't do extracurricular activities. I woke up earlier. I went to bed later. I don't think that's a lifestyle, like a permanent lifestyle. But at the time that I gave myself 365 days, I, there was no more messing around. There was no more excuses. You have a story, you know, you, you have a unique experience. And so your 12 are shaped by, by not just your world, but how your world has shaped your thinking. And I think that's the part they're missing. It's like, guys, it, you know, if it was easy, everybody could do it. If it was a cookie cutter, everybody would just follow it to the T. But there's a mindset. And when I looked at Serena, you know, when I look at the Michael Jordans of the world, Brady. Tom Brady, you know, when you look at Michael Phelps, like it is a mentality. It's the consistent actions of doing the hard things or just the things you say you're going to commit to mm -hmm. and completing those things, which build the confidence and the belief in yourself. A lot of people that have these issues of the self-doubt is because they have not put the work in to have the belief in themselves that they can accomplish whatever yeah. it is. The reason why you're not taking advantage of this opportunity is not because you don't believe in it, you don't believe in you. We suck at first, but I just kept going. I just really believed that I could have anything that I wanted if I was willing to work for it. And when I was number 20, I started saying, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And I went to the computer, and the world said exactly what I said, that Eric Thomas is number one in the world. I spoke it, the world heard it, and it activated. Your problem is that you don't believe you belong here. Your problem is that you don't think you should be sitting down here. Listen to me very closely. If I had one message to leave you with, that's a game changer, is you need to start to believe. And I, for one, I can tell you, my, in my own experience, my own self-confidence, 100% um, uh, comes from the relationships that I have. Um, it's not some deep internal fortitude. In order to achieve greatness, you must first believe you can.